Vaswani sir, who's actually my mentor, and Alkaji for actually giving me the campus for believing in the song, and for it to you know reach people. And uh, I actually perform one of my independent singles that I'm planning to release itself, and it was an honor performing at the prestigious Pearl Academy. You know, Say No to War is a very heart-touching song, and yeah. we heard the audience, the college students, going like once more. Yeah. And uh, you know, unlike concerts where you have all rock, jazz, and more, uh, you know, peppy numbers. How did it feel, Ravash, that you touched the chords of the youth and you know, everybody is loving and responding to the song? Oh, well, honestly, that was the plan. It was from a youth's point of view. Uh, I'm honestly no, no uh, you know, genius at the subject, but uh, having said that, I feel it's really important for any song, you know, uh, may it have a social message or no. As an artist, we'd be lying if we didn't want it to connect to people or for people not to respond. And uh, I think somewhere it's definitely made a change and uh, you know whoever's heard it has appreciated the track uh, and the message in it and as an artist i think that's a very big up for me in my you first know, journey this uh, all year also that you know you uh, uh, when the song was being made and this was like an unconventional launch yeah and, uh, for a song which is so uh, you know for today's time and now when you see the audience responding so well and it's it's a huge success how does it feel, Raj? Do you believe in your uh, God that whatever you know you thought about has come to uh, life and is uh, realized very well? 
Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, having said that, I think once the song is out, it's people's song. It's not your more, uh, not yours anymore. So I'm emotionally detached to all my work after it's out. Uh, you know, that's what I've learned from my dad at least. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's really encouraging that people are really appreciating and supporting the track. And I think I have so much more music to give out to people, and I'm really really excited for uh, the life ahead of me and all things music. Was it a great uh, female fan audience following that you had? Does it flatter you? Does it embarrass you? Does it, you know, what are the emotions? <laughs> <laughs> they were for Abir, to be honest, I think. <laughs> the female fan following was for Abir. But no, I think a fan is a fan made, be female or male. Uh, you have to, you know, really, really win their hearts with your work. And that's what I'm really seeing as of now. But it's honestly, it's great seeing, you know, everybody out there enjoying the music. I'm sure you're a proud brother, you know, as much as the musician that you've been uh, in the song. What do you have to say, uh, you know, for the whole journey and today when you uh, perform with the audience live and say no to what was so well received? What do you have to say? Well, firstly, I'm very proud of Rohanj for coming out on the stage and singing so beautifully. And I remember while we were rehearsing and we were talking as to how to go on with the stage how will we conduct, how will we do everything and I'm so happy to know that it all went smoothly and regarding to say no to war, I'm so happy to know that people have accepted it in a nice manner. It does have a social message and um, from my part what I could do, I did. I feel it's a message that if you want to be a part of it, you will. No one would say no to it. As such, and the way that people have accepted it, the way that people have taken it in consideration makes me very happy. And yes, I'm very proud of Rohanj for his first ever concert. Many more to go, but very happy about it. Rohanj, what were your emotions today when you were performing? And uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a different feeling, uh, especially for a song that you've nurtured, you've given birth to, and then yeah. you see it finally so well accepted with the audience. Uh, well, honestly, the biggest thing that today was really, really special to me was having my family around and uh, my friends who are actually, actually like my family, all of them were present here. So that's the biggest thing for me, I feel. And uh, the crowds responded well uh, to say no to war. But I'm more happy that they responded well to my next single also. That's definitely given me more confidence, I think. And uh, I'd like to make more music, see where it goes, put it out there. But I think this is the step in, uh, in the right direction and I'm feeling more confident, yeah. So when do we hear the next song? When do you want to hear? Yeah, tell I'm sure it should be soon now. It's been already a month. We should. I think we're already prepping for the next song. Uh, work is going on on a couple of more tracks. But I think you should hear me very, very soon. I'm not going to make anybody wait. New music coming soon, guys. I promise you that. Uh, and Rohansh, what kind of genre would be the next song? Are we, are we looking at something similar or something different? Uh, something absolutely different from uh, Say No To War. Something very, very, I think, contemporary, something that I would really want to pursue for a long time. Abhi, what would you like to say for uh, not just today's performance? Are you both performing? I'm, I'm sure you've done that earlier with your dad, but uh, today it was just a brother duo. I'm just going to interrupt you for a second and say how proud I am of this guy because he's played the bass today and uh, you know just seeing the whole family be together and my brother be on stage with me he's a wonderful artist as I've said on stage I can't uh, you know speak uh, highly enough about him I at his age very honestly I didn't even uh, think so much and you know because I was you know whatever I was doing at that time but I'm really proud to see him go in the right, the right direction and uh, it was a very very proud moment for me to see him on stage today with me playing the bass that wow well I'd like to first mention how my and my brother's relationship is so I remember back in 2018 when I was around 14 15 uh, Rohan just came up to me and he's like uh, make something I'm like what just make something up he was on the piano he was giving me some tune to it and he's like just make something on it I'm like how do you suddenly want me to make something up and he gave me 15-20 minutes of his time and then we just started creating a song and the next day I had it in my hand the whole song so I think the person who believed in me who made me believe that yes you can achieve what you want to is my brother he, whenever I feel low whenever I feel there's something going wrong I've always come up to him and he always told me that listen if you work hard if you work, if you work, you will get there. It's a 
जन्नत सा जहाँ क्यों दो जख बन गया है इंसान क्यों यहाँ इंसानियत से जुदा है हर दिल में यहाँ तू नूर सबा कुछ ऐसा जगा वो सारी नफरत फना हो वो थैंक यू सो मच I love you know how the young generation today thinks, and Rohan is part of that young generation to talk about, to think about, to sing about, to celebrate life at the same time. Talk about the uh, worries of the world. and uh, talk about war i believe uh, we have faith in our children and this faith is rightly placed so while it was a very good concert it was also from the heart and it reached our hearts um i want to sum it up beautifully uh, what do you have to i agree with alka ma'am completely in fact uh, when i first went to the launch of say no to war yes. the first thing i thought was my students at pearl academy will love this so in fact it was that day at the launch i told lalit i would love to have them to perform at the uh, campus and it happens to be the end of semester so we decided that we do it for the end of semester and they loved it the kids were overwhelmingly uh, in favor of doing things like this more and more on the campus but part of that is because of the event part of that is because of rohan he's young he's enthusiastic he's good looking and i think all the kids fell in love with him and they fell in love with the beer and they fell in love with uh living the scene of the world you know being a still maker yourself and uh, you know having the audience especially the youth going like once more is is uh, is is a beautiful uh, you know it's beautiful to know because the social message and uh, touching the youth i think it's it's a very rare it's a rarity now i think it's fabulous that the youth has embraced say no to war i think it was a very important message i personally cry every time i hear the song i get emotional i don't like war i have said no to war in my life in my head and in my soul years ago a lot of people seem to think that there is profit in war i don't agree with it i'm glad that my children children at pearl children of rohanch's generation are saying no to war with a vengeance it's a very very important message yes. lalit i'm sure you're a proud father you know rohanch is doing extremely well and so is abir uh, uh, you know we you know as a father uh, today we saw those little nuances that you were working on just before the concert <laughs> uh, what do you have to say well of course you get uh, something happening in your stomach when the kid is performing for the first time but i must thank vivek and alka ma'am for uh, you know encouraging rohanj and vivek especially for because he's been guiding him he's been grooming him and advising him every now and then he keeps talking to him so uh, that's how you uh, you know get an artist uh, to face an audience and that grooming is very important and of course he's going to do more further for him he has to And, uh, But Lalit has seen me grooming kids for the last thirty years. <laughs> Every time Lalit sees me with some new boy, and he says, "Yeah, he's hot," and, huh. and then they become stars. So yeah. and starting from S R K right away. Starting from S R K. Yes. <laughs> But I must tell you that where Rohan and Abir are both concerned, like I saw Shah Rukh and I knew instantly Shah Rukh could be a star. I told him that for Rohan and for Abir. So there's no discussion that they're going to be very big stars. I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> they are just going to become stars and i will quietly say see i am taking the credit <laughs> but like you always do <laughs> like i always do It's very very talented boys i have no absolutely uh, no qualms in categorically stating in public that both rohanch pandit and abir pandit are the big stars of the future says uh, uh, you know were you apprehensive that you know rohanch is it's his debut and he is choosing a song which is uh, you know is this not the routine run of the mill uh, songs which are uh, usually there for the launches well uh, i've been hearing his song he's been composing for a while now and i keep hearing whatever he does he makes me hear and then we sit on his songs and you know that is also a grooming process but the thing is that these kids have been watching the tv and they're seeing the news 
they are not the kids who have seen the first or the second world war but they are watching this happening and it is very unacceptable to this generation i must say and uh, when i speak to them they do say that uh, not about this war, war itself but all the nuclear should go from every country away they don't want it and uh, it's a it's, it's a situation and when he made me hear this song it touched me here and i said this is the one you should try because and he told me one very good thing he said i have my whole life to do other commercial kind of stuff or the songs that i can make but this is uh, something which i want to start off with so it was his decision and of course i backed him up for it and the good thing is that uh, uh, people with experience who had come for his his launch of the song say no to war have appreciated it and that's a big thing because you know had he done a punjabi song or, or a masti ka song or a song with a kind of hook they say whatever it is might not have been so appreciative everybody came because of the relationship we have with each other you know we have been working since years you were there so the thing is that this song has at least given him some respect of you know kind of work he's capable of doing at this age and you heard the second song that is on to now so it's uh, it's just a journey ahead for him and he, 